Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to another Seth Say So video. I hope you're all well. This is a requested video, so thank you so much for the request. And as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about one of the UK's most underrated bands from the early 2000s, and that is Big Brothers. This is Big Bro, taking over the show, show with this new flow. We're also going to be talking about the duo Beauty Love, as you will see later on in the video but a very very quick disclaimer before we begin this video was purely done for entertainment informational and commentary purposes it's not to mock anyone it's not to disrespect anyone it's purely various information i found on the interwebs put together into one easy to digest video so as always we're going to keep it cute we're going to keep it polite we're going to keep it respectful and let's get into the video big brothers are a r&b and hip-hop group from london The group originally formed in 2001 and consisted of three girls, Sharice from London, Nadia from Reading and Dion from South East London. Three guys, Jay Rock who was born and raised in Washington, USA and came to the UK at the age of six, Randy born in Jamaica and came to the UK at the age of 10 and Flawless who was born and raised in Nigeria and came to the UK at the age of 8 all according to an Evening Standard article dated 2nd of September 2003. The group also consisted of two producers, Skills also known as JJC Skills born and raised in Nigeria according to Wikipedia and Fingers. There isn't any information on where Fingers was born and raised. Before becoming the group Big Brothers, all members were working on their own solo material. Cherise actually won the Mobile Award for Best Unsigned Artist in the year 2000. The group was put together by Randy's cousin, Fingers, who was also the producer in the group. According to a 2010 article on flavormag.co.uk, it was reported that Fingers put together a mixtape titled Big Brothers Watching You. Rather than giving each member an individual track, he decided to make the artists work together and perform on the same tracks. The mixtape generated a strong reaction and buzz around the UK scene, and this is where Big Brothers were born. A year later after the group formed, they signed a record deal with Sony. According to Wikipedia, Big Brothers were referred to as the softer version of So Solid Crew. However, according to flavormag.co.uk in the 2010 article, Big Brothers were tipped to be the UK's answer to Outkast and the Fugees. The group began working on their debut album, New Flow, and later in 2002, Big Brothers released their debut single of the same name. This is Big Bro, taking over the show, show with this new flow. Which peaked at number three on the UK singles chart, spending a total of 19 weeks on the chart. The singer also did amazingly well internationally, peaking at number one in New Zealand and Norway, peaking at number two in Sweden, Belgium and the Netherlands, peaking at number three in Australia and Denmark, and peaking at number 20 in Finland. Then in November 2002, Big Brothers released their debut album, New Flow, which peaked at number 51 on the UK album chart, spending a total of two weeks on the chart. The group had continued success in 2003 and released their second single, OK. Which peaked at number 7 on the UK singles chart, spending a total of 12 weeks on the chart. This prompted the group to re-release the album with a reordered track listing in February 2003. Then one month later, in March 2003, the group reordered the track listing again and a new track titled Favourite Things was included in the third version of the New Flow album. Favourite Things was the group's third and most famous single which sampled the song My Favourite Things from the hit musical The Sound of Music. <laughs> Favourite Things became the group's biggest hit to date, peaking at number 2 on the UK singles chart, spending a total of 13 weeks on the chart. The single also did amazingly well internationally, peaking at number 3 in Australia, spending a total of 10 weeks on the chart, peaking at number 3 in New Zealand, spending a total of 9 weeks on the chart, and peaking at number 17 in Belgium, spending a total of 9 weeks on the chart. The second version of New Flow spent six weeks on the UK albums chart, with number 21 being its highest position. Then after the release of Favourite Things and the third version of the album, New Flow peaked at number six on the UK albums chart, spending a total of a staggering 32 weeks on the chart. The album was certified platinum in the UK. Late in 2003, Big Brothers released their fourth single, Baby Boy. Which peaked at number four on the UK singles chart, spent a total of 12 weeks on the chart. The song also did well internationally, peaking at number eight in Australia, number 13 in New Zealand, and number 29 in Belgium. Then in December 2003, Big Brothers released another single, Ain't What You Do. Which peaked at number 15 on the UK singles chart, spending a total of seven weeks on the chart. Also in 2003, Big Brothers won the award for best newcomer at the Mobile Awards. And the winner is. 
Big Brothers. The group also won a joint mobile award with Punjabi MC for Best UK Act, which was the first time ever for the mobiles to hand out a joint award. Okay, and the winner, the winners, there's two winners, and they are Big Brothers and the Punjabi MC. In 2004, the group appeared in the movie Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, where they performed the single, We Wanna Thank You, The Things You Do. The group also released a single as the theme song for the movie. We want to thank you, The Things You Do, peaked at number 17 on the UK singles charts, but in a total of four weeks on the chart. However, shortly after in 2004, Flores was stopped at Los Angeles airport. He was found with a small amount of illegal substance, which was found in his shaven form, according to a BBC News article in March 2004. He was arrested, sent home to the UK and was sacked from the group. In an interview with BBC Newsround in March 2004, Dion confirmed that the group had spoken to Flawless after the arrest and said that he has apologised and hopes that he hasn't brought the group down. The remaining five members had to carry on without Flawless. With the new lineup, i.e. Nadia, Cherise, Dion, J-Rock and Randy, the group released the single Yours Fatally, which was due to be taken from their second album. The single beats at number 15 on the UK singles chart, spent a total of six weeks on the chart. Despite receiving good reviews, the single didn't do as well as the record label hoped it would. And as a result, in late 2004, the group were dropped from their record label due to poor sales. This also led the group to split after being dropped from the label. In 2005, in an interview with CD UK, it was announced that Nadia and Cherise had formed a group called Sisters with a new member, a young lady called Donette. I've got 40% of Big Brothers, 10% of a newcomer, equaling 100% of the new R&B act, Sisters, Yay. up in the place. Now, guys, obviously, I recognise you two guys but uh, from the Big Brothers, uh -huh. but uh, Donette, you're a new member of the band. How did I that come about? I am, indeed. Um, basically, they found me up in Guildford at university and met the girls. We liked each other. Took it from there. When you say However, in 2006, Randy made an announcement on the group's official website that the group had reunited, but as a four-piece this time. The new lineup consisted of Nadia, J-Rock, Sharice and Randy. Dion decided not to take part in this reunion, and later became a vocal coach. Then in April 2006, the group released the single Hanging Around. However, the single would be the group's slowest charting single, peaking at number 57 on the UK singles chart and spending only one week on the chart. Also in 2006, the group's hit single, New Flow, was used for a Halifax advert. Before the group's second album, Re-Entry, was finally released in 2007, they released the single Big Bro Thang. The single won the fans voting poll vote on the group's official website and due to popular demand the single was picked to be the third single under the new lineup. Originally the single was due for release in 2006 but was pushed back until 2007 so it would be eligible to compete in Making Your Mind Up, the British pre-selection for the 2007 Eurovision Song Contest. However, Big Brothers were voted off, finishing in third place. According to Wikipedia, in an interview with online magazine Pop Justice, Nadia and Cherise confirmed that all promotion for their re-entry album had finished, which meant that Big Bro Thang was the final single to be released from the album. In an interview with Pop Justice magazine in 2007, it appeared that Nadia and Cherise formed as a duo called Booty Love. The duo was put together by their record label Head Candy in June 2006 according to Wikipedia. However, in an interview with Today magazine in 2013, Nadia explained the reason behind the band split and the formation of Booty Love. She said, Following many successful years of producing music with Big Brothers, changes in our personal lives and musical direction called for members of the group to take different paths. Cherise and I are still keen to pursue a career in music, got signed to Piers Entertainment and created a new group, Booty Love. In late 2006, the duo released their first single, Boogie Tonight. <laughs> which beats at number two on the UK singles chart, spent a total of 25 weeks on the chart. The single also did well internationally, peaking at number eight in Finland and peaking at number 13 in the Netherlands. Their second single, Shine, was hailed as one of the best pop records of 2007. 
Shine peaked at number 10 on the UK singles chart, spending a total of 12 weeks on the chart. The single also did well internationally, peaking at number 6 in Finland and peaking at number 19 in the Netherlands. Then in September 2007, Beauty Love released their third single, Don't Mess With My Man, which was a cover of Lucy Pell's original song. The single peaked at number 11 on the UK singles chart, spending a total of seven weeks on the chart. However, the single did peak at number one on the UK dance chart. In the same month, Booty Love released their debut album, Boogie Tonight, which peaked at number 11 on the UK albums chart, spending a total of eight weeks on the chart. The album was certified silver. At the end of 2007, the duo released their fourth single, Some Kind of Rush. Which peaked at number 19 on the UK singles chart, spent a total of 19 weeks on the chart. Some Kind of Rush also made it to the top 10 in the Netherlands. Then in 2009, after a two year hiatus, Booty Love released the single Say It. Which peaked at number 16 on the UK singles chart, spent a total of four weeks on the chart. There's also a Funky House remix to the song, which was remixed by Crazy Cousins in 2009 which in my opinion is the best version of the song. Comment down below if you agree. After another two year hiatus, Booty Love performed at the Nottingham Pride in 2011. The duo also performed at the Cardiff Pulse Street Party in 2011. In the same year, the group released the single This Night. This was also to coincide with their Australian tour in May 2012 via iTunes. Then in late 2012, the duo released their official music video for their single Black Widow. However, the single failed to chart. In 2012, the four original members of Big Brothers joined three members of the pop group S Club 7, now known as S Club 3, for a tour in Australia. In April 2013, in an article on popjustice.com, it was reported that Big Brothers may be on the next series of the ITV show The Big Reunion and were currently in talks with ITV executives. However, it appears as though the group were not selected to take part as they were not included in the 2013 lineup. Nonetheless, Booty Love performed with Big Brothers for the reunion tour in early 2013. In August 2013, Big Brothers performed at T-Fest in Essex, but it appears that only the guys performed. Then in January 2014, Big Brothers performed on the TV show Big Brothers Bit on the Side. In 2016, Booty Love performed at Hull Pride. In 2017, Big Brothers performed at Graves and Big Day Out with Booty Love. In August 2018, Big Brothers and Booty Love performed at Wildlife Safari Night at the Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Brothers performed with other artists such as Wycliffe Sean and Nelly for the We Love the 2000s concert in Oslo, Norway. <laughs> In 2019, Big Brothers and Booty Love performed at the Poptastic tour in Adelaide, Australia, alongside two other bands, S Club 3 and 5. According to his Twitter bio, Jay Rock is an autism activist and motivational speaker. He's also a patron for Anna Kennedy Online. In 2016, he appeared in a short video with The Guardian regarding his son who has autism. Autism being a spectrum disorder, there's many things that may trigger a meltdown. Some of Richard's triggers are patterns and, and you know, funny shapes. In March 2020, he was joined by bandmates Nadia and Randy for a mini concert at an autism school in Radlett, Hertfordshire. My son was diagnosed with autism in, in 2010 and um, since then we've been doing everything possible to advocate for autism and be a voice for those who haven't got one. J-Rock is active on Twitter and Instagram.
Nadia hasn't been active on Twitter since 2015, but is quite active on Instagram. In March 2020, she joined bandmates J-Rock and Randy for a mini concert at an autism school in Radlett, Hertfordshire, as mentioned earlier. A hundred pictures all of you Hanging on my bedroom wall I'm a kid again I feel like 13 But I need Tell me baby Cause I need to know now Because my loneliness Is killing me Deep down When I face it All I want is you uh, All I want is you Sharice is quite active on Instagram. She also uploads videos of herself singing covers on her YouTube channel, Sharice Roberts. It lingers when we're done. You believe God is a Cause your love is a one in a million. I must have dizzy. I slept it away. I sexed it away. I read it away. Why am I play around? It's only cause I need some affection Oh, so I creep, yeah Randy hasn't been active on Twitter for a while However, he is active on Instagram and seems to be enjoying family life Dion is quite active on Twitter and according to her Twitter bio, she is a singer, songwriter and vocal coach. She is also the CEO of Red Ram Entertainment. It seems as though Fingers has gone incognito as I could not find him on any form of social media and I couldn't find any articles providing an update as to where he is and what he's been up to. Skills, also known as JJC, is currently in Nigeria and has made a stamp in the Afrobeat scene. He is active on social media and is currently married to Nigerian actress Bunke Akindele. It appears that Flawless has also gone incognito as I could not find him on any form of social media. And again, I could not find any articles updated as to where he is and what he has been up to. Big Brothers have an official page on Instagram and seems to be quite active on there. Their official Twitter page hasn't been active since December 2020. In my opinion, Big Brothers are definitely one of the most underrated UK groups. Their music and particularly their music videos were one of a kind and very different to the music and the music videos that were out at the time. They were a huge success in the early 2000s and it appears as if the scandal with Flawless may have put a strain on the group. It also seems as though when they were dropped from Sony at the time, they were unable to find their feet again. However, Booty Love went on to have great success, particularly in the mid to late 2000s. Big Brother seem to be going well as a foursome, but it will be great for them to receive their flowers whilst they're still out and about and active because as mentioned earlier, they are very much underrated. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've all enjoyed. For those of you who made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching and sticking around. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what your favourite Big Brother's songs are and also your favourite ones from Booty Love. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video over and out.